Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress hooks tutorial for beginners and this is 22nd. In this video session guys, we will discuss that how can we include the page template for our custom pages. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WordPress hooks tutorial. So basically guys, we are going to make our custom pages to our WordPress setup. Okay, so just back to administrator panel go to pages section and now inside this pages section guys we are going to make some pages okay so let's say that services just I want to publish let's say portfolio okay these are the two pages guys that we have developed and right now these pages had no content okay we want that by getting this URL, we want that by getting this portfolio or the services page that we have developed, we want to render our own custom post type pages. Sorry guys, it's not custom post type pages, it's custom pages. Okay, so also we have two options actually to include the custom pages for these pages. Okay, what are the two options? First option is that we have to make our custom page. Okay, means our custom template. And now by making that custom template, we have to select right here by a drop down filter. Okay, by adding that template to this page, actually we can open our custom page template. Okay, but without that, we have another option is to use by using this called template include and a WordPress function called locate template okay so we are going to so see all these two options so first of all we are going to make a custom template page or custom template for this page okay so just back to browser folder structure go to themes folder so themes folder and now right now we have activated called 2017 okay so basically we are going to make our own custom template for this portfolio page okay so if you go to the pages section these two pages we have developed like portfolio and services Okay, let's work on portfolio page. Okay, so just back to folder structure. Let's say that empty file. Let's say that portfolio page template. Okay, dot PHP. This is the page that we have developed. So just I want to drag and drop to our editor. Okay, so inside this page, guys, let's make for the template declaration. So it should be something called template name. let's say template and name name should be something called portfolio okay so this is the guys this is the page that we have made for that custom template and this is the page called portfolio okay so with an h1 tag let's a message so just close this php tag with an h1 tag let's pass a message called this is our custom template page okay so just save this file go to browser and now once we open this portfolio page so as we can see that we have a drop down called template okay so just we have to select that template that we have actually made okay so just click on this drop down list and now we have portfolio page okay so basically guys to make this drop down what actually we did we just make a portfolio page or this is a custom template inside our activated theme this is the first actually the option that we actually developing okay so just back to browser select this portfolio section and now click on update after updating if I just open this link into the next tab now as we can see that this is our custom template actually redirecting okay this is not opening the WordPress default page okay so if suppose let's say that just back to editor so this is the custom template that we have made if I just get rid of all these contents so now we have removed all the content so just back to browser reload this page and now as we can see that the drop down has gone okay so if I click on update page reload this front end section and now as we can see that the WordPress actually uses the default portfolio page okay so actually this was the first option guys to develop our custom template for WordPress pages okay this is something like that so we are going to use a filter who called some things in template include along with this filter hook guys we are going to use a WordPress function called locate template okay so by using those two functions or filter hook we actually we are going to make our custom template for those pages okay so just back to editor 
Now save this page. Once we saved, just reload our portfolio section and now the drop down is here. Okay. So we are not going to select that portfolio page from here. We actually we are going to override this template actually by using our plugin. Okay. So just I am going to editor open our OWT hooks file this is the plugin guys actually by the help of this plugin we are learning our WordPress hooks tutorial okay so let's say that add filter inside this let's say that template include okay template include second we have to pass our callback function so OWT let's say include port full you page okay and our third parameter guys we are going to execute or pass our priority of execution of this template include filter hook okay so let's I'm going to pass call 99 this is a priority or order of execution of this filter hook okay so next we have to define this callback function so let's say that OWT include portfolio page function this is the function name and now inside this callback function so first of all we have to pass a parameter inside this function let's say template and finally we have to return this template so return let's say template okay so finally before that before returning this template we are going to make override okay so let's say if is page okay is page equal to portfolio something the page actually we are going to open to our browser to our front end so each page is portfolio so by finding this portfolio page just go to if block and now inside this if block by finding this portfolio section we are going to render a new template so let's a new template we're going to use a WordPress function called locate template okay so this is locate template inside this locate template we are going to pass that template so inside this array let's say that the template actually we have made something called portfolio page template okay so just I'm going to rename copy this page name just back to editor and pass inside here okay so if this template is not empty means we have this template so let's say if not empty let's say not empty new template okay so finally we have to return new template okay so just save this file go to browser and now we have to reload this page so if you go to the front end section reload this page now as we can see that our temp custom template has been rendered by using or by selecting any page template right here okay this is actually we do by using this filter hook called template include and one of the WordPress functions that we have used called locate template also guys we can develop the portfolio section so this portfolio section if you go to the pages section we have services page that we have made so we can actually develop the custom template for this also okay so just back to folder structure let's make a file for this service so let's say that service page template okay and let's say PHP so let me drag and drop this file to our editor so let's say that this is our so let's say that or just get rid of all these things with the h1 tag let's say that this is service page template okay so once we save just back to plugins main file and by finding so just scroll down let's say that if is page let's say service because this is the page slug guys if you go to the browser now as we can see that in the portfolio section this is the slug page slug okay so if you go to the services just click on view so this is page slug okay so by finding this page slug service we have to actually render our custom template okay so let's say that new template finally we have to use a locate template so it's not location it's locate template inside this we have to pass the template name okay so let's say that service page template dot php this is the page that we have made and finally by finding this let's say if not empty new template if it means that we have services template okay so by finding services template we have to return that template so return new template okay so if we save this file just go to browser reload this page and now as we can see that actually we had not not rendered our custom template this is because guys actually page slug has been different this is services so just copy that 
go to editor so we have to replace these services instead of these services okay so just save this file go to browser reload this page again and now as we can see that this is our, our service page template okay so basically the concept is simple guys we have two options to render actually our custom template first actually the WordPress provides that is something that we have to make our custom template and by making that custom template we have to select by the drop down list okay and the second option is by the plugin where actually WordPress provides a filter hook called template include and along with this template include guys we have to use a function called locate template so by using this locate template actually we can locate our custom template that we have made for those pages okay so I think guys that I have made much more clear concept about template include filter hook so if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day